Fears that Obama's re-election will send the economy over the fiscal cliff drove the Dow to drop over 300 points on Wednesday, ending at 12,932. CNBC reports that both Fitch and Moody's indicated that they are ready to cut the U.S. AAA credit rating if responsible fiscal actions are not taken. The sell-off was the second worst post-election sell-off since the 1940s, the first one was when Obama was elected in 2008. That day, the Dow declined 5% rather than 3%. The market on Wednesday was seeking a feeling of compromise, and John Boehner, Speaker of the House, was quick to respond. No comment from Obama. Early Thursday morning, the Greek Parliament voted to back another round of austerity measures. This should settle the markets at least momentarily, according to experts. The Associated Press indicates that the vote came just prior to the monthly press conference to be held today by Mario Draghi, the president of the European Central Bank. Asian markets were down on Thursday while European markets showed a slight positive gain. The Wall Street Journal reports that the European Commission has cut its growth outlook for the region and is predicting deeper recession in austerity-challenged nations such as Italy and Spain and the lower growth of France and Germany. Growth for Germany was slashed from 1.7% to 0.7%. The overall growth rate for the combined EU is 0.4%, down from 1.4%. Generally, however, the EU's forecast has been too optimistic. Americans took out more student loans and auto loans in September to boost consumer borrowing to a record level. According to the Associated Press, total consumer debt outstanding, excluding mortgages and other housing-related borrowing, went to $2.74 trillion, the highest level on record. The increase was primarily in student and auto loans. Experts indicate that Americans are becoming more confident about the economy and therefore they are borrowing more. Shares of Apple Incorporated fell 4% on Wednesday to a five-month low as investors grew nervous about the ability to fend off competition and fix iPhone 5 supply chain. Reuters reports, that Apple's fall outpaced the S&P's 2.4% drop for the day. Samsung and Amazon.com are both seen as rivals to Apple. Apple also having trouble meeting the demand for its new iPhone 5. Experts indicate that margins to shrink in the future since Apple's newer products are more expensive to build. Boeing announced a major restructuring of its defense division on Wednesday that will cut 30% of management jobs close to facilities in California and consolidate business units, according to CNBC. The defense division represents 40% of the company's revenues, and Boeing indicates that the layoffs are merely due to cost containment rather than in response to potential threat of the fiscal cliff, which would reduce government contracts with Boeing. CNBC reports that despite shorter gas lines in New York, the distribution and supply network for gasoline is still far from normal, more than a week after Hurricane Sandy decimated the Northeast. Key terminals in Woodbridge, New Jersey, to Newark area remain damaged and, in impacting, and are impacting the supply chain. The Phillips 66 Bayway refinery was hit by the storm surge and is not expected to open for two to three weeks. While gas stations now have power, they are not receiving significant deliveries to meet the needs of their, cons of their customers and consumers. The majority owners of Lacoste SA, the apparel company known for its tennis shirts and accessories adorned with a crocodile, are selling to Swiss investors. The Wall Street Journal indicates that a family feud has caused the sales of the two groups of the family's ownership. One family group owns 28% stake in the firm, which it will sell to Groupe Ma Frey SA. The other family group owns 30.3% of the shares, which will be sold separately to the Swiss company. The other family group owns 30.3% of the shares, which will be sold separately to the Swiss company. The deal values of the cost is about $1.2 billion to $1.6 billion. Reporting from Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks for watching.